Good morning. I apologize for the lack of notice today. It's not been... Sometimes it's difficult to find my space. So, I'm here. It's 10 o'clock. I still have my sleepy face on. <laughs> That's okay. Um, when you join me, I'm just allowing myself to be in that quiet space for a few minutes. I hope that you'll get in that space too. Kind of open yourself to whatever wants to happen today. So that's where I am. I'm trying to be peaceful and I'm just waiting. I'm a little bit, I'm just about on time. Sometimes I'm a little bit early. Sometimes, a lot of times I'm a lot late. <laughs> Sorry. So I have a little distraction here, so I hope that little distraction doesn't keep me from, I'll let you know. She might put her face on camera. We'll see. I'm babysitting. Hi, Nanette. Nice to see you. First one I see. We're going to the playground again today. We're going to go to the playground and we're going to enjoy the sandbox together here in just a few minutes. So thank you for joining me. There is a lot going on right now. I'm trying to do about three things at one time. So, oh. So maybe there's not quite as much going on at the same time. I see somebody. I see two. Let me know when you're here. I like to actually be able to interact. And I'm open right now. The first few minutes, it's always like, if you guys have things going on, um, things that feel important to you, things that have come through to you, please feel free to hit me with some some comments and we'll talk. It's I feel like I've been kind of out of it yet this morning. I don't really know what's going on in the world. So <laughs> you can you can help me with that. I'm babysitting a new baby in her house. She's been kind of a distraction. Wendy, thank you for joining me. Carrie, thank you for joining. As I said a few minutes ago, it's, it's sandbox day. Usually I'll spend a few minutes before I get on and I just kind of open myself up. I say ego, step aside, and I open myself up as kind of an, a vessel here to, to whatever wants to come through. So today, please let me speak. I got so many messages. It was a busy day. So, um, if um, if you guys have anything that you'd like to discuss right now, it's a good time. We can kind of bring some things out. So feel free. It's kind of open time. My phone is blowing up right now. I'm, I apologize. It's very distracting. I'm gonna have to turn that off for a little bit. So while we're sitting here, let's just breathe. Our energy is gonna kind of work together here today. Um, I want you to visualize yourself in that sandbox today. That's what came to me as I was kind of feeling this out. Um, we like to go to the playground. So today we're going to go to that little sandbox. I want you to visualize yourself as a little child. That's, that's important to me when I do these. I want us to go back. I want us to see like we're all visualize ourselves as coming to this place as the little childish selves. You know, and I think I'll start a um, what do you call it? <laughs> Help me, Wendy. Um, where we post pictures of ourselves as children so that we can kind of visualize ourselves. What did you look like as a child? Um, because that child is still very much alive and well inside of us. And I get this push every day to help you to find that little child that's inside of you. Um, because it's not just fun time. It's, it's super important. It's super powerful. That child, that creative part of you, that part of you that was daydreaming, um, playing in the dirt, all of those things that you see little children doing, they're actually very, it's very natural to them to ground their energy. That's why they like dirt so much. That's why they want to be uh, barefoot on the earth all the time. Uh, when they're daydreaming, they're their imagination is going wild. They're literally shutting themselves down. They know how to meditate because they, like they're sitting in a classroom, they don't hear that teacher. <laughs> they forget that anybody else is in that room. They're sitting there daydreaming and, and they're creating this energy within them that that is like a whole universe within. They're, they're creating all of this world that nobody else can even get to. The message now from the universe, from source, from God, whoever you call on, 
is to reawaken that inner child um, because that child is the one that holds that strong imagination. And your imagination is absolutely necessary if you want to truly be able to manifest a beautiful life. You are continuously manifesting your existence, everything that's around you, and collectively the human race is manifesting what's going on right now. We have manifested this this uh, fear-based illness, this, you know, think about it, my gosh, we're so afraid that we're going to get sick that we've stopped touching each other. We've stopped everything. We don't have regular TV shows. We can't have, we can't, our, our movies, we can't go out to the movies anymore. We can't, we can't hug each other. We can't be with our loved ones when they're sick. We can't um, work. We can't leave our homes. How different is this? Somewhere along the way, we've created this because it's absolutely necessary to bring us back to our center as a collective consciousness. Each one of us can sit on the floor and find our center, but what happens when there are so many others that don't know how to do that, that don't know how to, how to create with purpose? They're creating out of fear, and when we create out of fear, we create things like a horrible virus. We create political systems that are crashing. We create scarcity. We, we create hunger. We create fear. We create um, walls and boundaries and borders. And all of that, all of that lower vibrational energy comes out of fear. So the idea now, every day when I come here, is let's get back into the energy of the small child, the child that didn't judge other people, that child didn't look at someone with a different skin tone and say, oh, I don't want to play with you. That child was just like, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> let's have some fun. That child didn't judge themselves, didn't look in the mirror and see little rolls of, you know, little jelly rolls or <laughs> a spare donut around the middle or wrinkles or anything like that. That child was wide open. The imagination was wide open. Anything was possible. Santa Claus was possible. A man that was flying around in a sleigh around the world bringing gifts to small children. That was possible. The Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny is so very alive to these little children. Can we get back to that? We got Easter coming up this weekend. Can you remember what it was like as a child? Hi, Rachel. Thank you for joining me. Wendy, I think I said hi if I didn't yet. Yes, I did. Thank you for being here. You guys help share this out while it's live, too, if you would. Because... Um, the more love we gather here, the more powerful it is. And I am no good at sharing things once I start talking. I lose all everything. So you can help me with that. That would be great. Um, so our place today, as we're working with that little child that's within you, I would like you to visualize yourself as your small self today. Bring her out to play. Bring him out to play, whoever you are. Um, really go sometimes they're hiding you have to work but you'll know when that little child is there there's a sense of joy there's a sense of Christmas time do you remember that feeling that you had like a week before Christmas the day before Christmas you're so excited you couldn't even go to sleep at night that's what happens when you start to heal this inner child there's like that that um, sense of beautiful something so exciting is right there in your grasp and you can't wait to open it up can you sense that yet so we're bringing that little child back out all of that childhood exuberance we've been told to hush too long <laughs> we're coming back out to play and we're going to walk on down to the playground and there is a massive sandbox there and it's clean i promise it's been covered <laughs> it's nice and clean and there are treasures buried there's lots of treasures buried in this sandbox. And so your job is I'm giving you each a, a shovel and maybe a little rake. I'm going to give you a couple little toys. And let's take buckets too. Picture yourself with a little sand bucket. <laughs> and you got your little shorts on. And you can take off your shoes if you got them on. We don't need shoes here. It's nice and clean. We're going to put our feet in that. We're going to bury our feet in that earth, that nice sand. Squish your toes around a little bit. It feels so good. It's kind of warm. If you dig down a little deeper, can you visualize what your feet feel like when you dig them down in that sand? At first, it's kind of warm. The sun's been hitting the top, so it's, it's warm. And you dig your feet down a little further, and it starts to feel cool and comforting on your feet. 
and you can feel your energy start to ground. You can feel as if your roots are, oh, I feel that. You guys are good today. I feel like my roots are planted firmly down in there. And as I'm sitting there, I want to have some fun. Kids are so natural with this grounding. It's like they just know they got to get in the dirt. <laughs> my kids love dirt. And so we're going to take our buckets and we want to start digging around. Let's see what we can find. See if you can find some treasures today. See if you can find those things that maybe it's um, a little truck. If you like to play with cars and trucks. Maybe there's a little dowel down in there. Maybe, give me some ideas. What else might you find? What were your favorite toys as a child? What do you want to dig for? What is that little girl looking for? I know for me, I always liked those. Do you remember the toys that you would play in the sand and they had like a wheel on them and you would either pour water or like a light sand in it and it would start spinning and, and then it would just pour through or, or we had like a sieve and you could put the sand in that and you'd shake it, shake it, shake it like you're digging for gold and then all of the sand would come out and there would be treasures left behind. So let's, let's use some of these toys. I did. Wendy, sometimes I repeat myself. <laughs> I get confused if I've said things. Thank you, Wendy, for sharing. Good morning, Carrie. Thank you for that. We are all so precious. So as you're visualizing yourself digging, I can feel the energy building from the earth. So we're allowing that energy to flow as we're sitting here together. And you make sure that you breathe deeply. Make sure that you're breathing and you're enjoying yourself. The whole idea today is I want you to put yourself in that place that you used to when you were little, that all it took was sand and a few plastic toys and you were busy for hours. You could just sit there. You didn't have any other concerns. You didn't watch the news. You didn't worry about getting sick. You didn't worry about anybody else getting sick. You didn't worry about anything. You had no worries. Can we take that time right now to be in that stillness? We're, we're safe, we're protected, we're being watched over. Nobody's gonna, we're not gonna get hurt. We're just innocent and we've laid down all of our burdens and we're digging in the dirt. Maybe we could build a castle together. Who wants to build a castle? If we got a little bit, there's those cool buckets, you know? They, they work really well at the beach and they work like a mold and you fill them up. So we're gonna dig out some of that wetter sand Together. We're going to put it, each of us have these buckets, and we'll put it, push it down in there really good. And then we're going to flip them upside down, each of us together. And that'll make, as we're, as we're doing this, we're building a beautiful castle together. This takes cooperation. And that's what it's all about today is cooperation. That's what the message is coming through really big right now. It's working together here. We're all, we're all in this together. We need the energy of each one of us, light workers. Um, we're waking, we're helping to wake other people up. And as we're cooperatively working together, uh, there is more and more higher vibrational beings on the planet. It's as if as people wake up, they start to lay down. We don't want those things in our sandbox that are are pulling us down that are dirty or so as you're as you're playing in the sandbox you can flip those things out you don't want those anymore we're only keeping those things that are holding us into a, a joyful place so we're having fun and there's nothing here to stop us from having that fun and that's what your job is right now as you're going through your day every time you pick up something that feels like it's pulling your energy down or you look at something that's pulling your energy down Try to, try to be better with yourself. If it's pulling you down, it doesn't belong in your space, whether that be internal or whether it be in your home. It's important right now to concentrate on creating a space for yourself that helps you to hold a high vibration because cooperatively, that's my word for today, we are all building this beautiful castle, this beautiful changed earth new earth is what keeps coming back to me and that comes through our being awake enough to know when there are things that are bad for us um, when there are things that are pulling our vibrations down 
and laying those things aside. So we are working cooperatively and sometimes that requires each one of us to say, hey, Wendy, <laughs> I know that that's something that you really care about, but I want you to be careful that might be pulling your energy down. Or Wendy, you tell me, hey, wait, that might not be good for you. Um, or just being there for each other to say, hey, I love you. I love you. I know this is a difficult time for you. I know you're struggling. It's going to be okay. I love you. We're in this together. Cooperation is the key word today. So what else? Give me some ideas what else we did as children. A lot of the exercises that we get gathered here together, like um, Ring Around the Rosy, uh, all these different things, they, they're they all, it's funny, it's all part of cooperation, putting a puzzle together. Do you remember a few days ago we did the puzzle? We've got a huge puzzle now because we've pulled a lot of puzzle pieces out of ourselves that we no longer want to carry. And so that's another one that you can visualize. Let's sit here together. Let's um, visualize ourselves doing doing things, cooperating. We are not out here. That's what can, Okay, there it is. Thank you for that. We're not in this alone. We are given physical teams and spiritual teams. You're not in this alone. There's a reason why some people are being taken out of your life right now. There's a reason why, and it may be that they're being really mean and they're being and they're misunderstanding who you are. And, and they are pushing you away from them. And, you're, and it, take, it goes straight to your heart. And you're like, well, why, why, why would they do that? That hurts me. They're stepping aside. Maybe physically it doesn't make sense to you. But spiritually, something inside of them knows it's time to step aside for you. Because you've got places to go that they're not ready to go yet. So this all right now we're in such a new energy it requires us to see things differently don't go at it try to tell your ego to step aside because when those people are stepping aside it's creating room for you for these new people that are coming in your new spiritual family your team you have a team when we're gathering today together we all often say that we are there's a lot of energy that we're gathering our tribes we've been saying that for a while it's their time to learn exactly, Wendy. They, don't ha they haven't learned the same lessons that we've learned. They're not ready for those same lessons. So oftentimes they, they will go a different direction, and that's okay. We just have to let them. Go ahead. It's okay. You're not ready for this yet. I love you. You send them love, and you let them go down their own path. And whatever they have to go through, we have to let them. We can't protect them from those hard lessons. They need to learn them. They came here to learn them. So... Those of us that are more awake, that gather, you guys that come here, probably, I would say, all of you are more than likely empaths, light workers, whatever you want to, whatever you want to say. You are getting a whole lot of help from the other side right now. You've got your own spiritual team that's right here with you at all times. You ask for help when those things happen. When you feel hurt, you can ask to have those cords cut and released to those people and you still send them love but you don't have to let them let that that energy of lack that energy of sadness it doesn't have to eat you up um, so ask for help with that you also are being given a physical team remember that when new people come into your life and your heart resonates with them there's a reason why they're there and so allow that to be um, I could tell you a story if you got a minute, I could tell you a story because I had a, I went on a journey, my own spiritual journey as I was meditating one day and I saw myself, I'll try to shorten it. I had been a healer. This is really related to a past life. I was a medicine woman in a tribe and that tribe um, went through, I was married in that one, I guess I don't know what they call it, but paired up with someone in that one too. That was Steve in a past life. He went off to go hunting and he didn't come back he died in that life too and I was broken by that and I left I, I could see myself in this cave and I'm standing at the mouth of the cave and I saw um, this is story time so I hope you got your cookies and milk so I saw as I'm looking out of the cave I could see um, a bunch of horses out in the field there was like these golden like, I don't know if it was wheat or whatever it is. The field was full of that, and there was horses out there. And suddenly, everything just parted. The horses just made space. And a black wolf, 
big golden eyes, great big feet came padding. I could hear his feet hitting the ground. And he came padding and through the middle of those horses. And they had just made, out of respect, they made room for him. And he came up into the entrance of the cave. And I was standing there and I wasn't afraid. And I looked in those golden eyes and I knew him immediately. I knew him because he was Steve. It was as if Steve came back to protect me in wolf form. And he, I'm sure his name wasn't Steve in that lifetime either. <laughs> um, I had a fire, I had built a fire in this cave. I was by myself and he wasn't gonna leave me alone. So he came in wolf form and he, and he walked over and he looked at me with those big golden eyes and he went over and he laid down by the fire. And I sat down on the other side of the fire and we just stared at each other. And I'm not sure why I'm giving you that. It just came to me. I, I really want you to spend time visualizing and using your imagination and realizing that you are so protected and you can't always see that protection. And it might come to you in ways that you wouldn't necessarily recognize unless you're, unless you're really paying attention. So look around you and those, even if you don't see it, know that. Know that that wolf is there protecting you from all this stuff that's going on around you. Visualize the, your own cave, your own safe space that you can be where nothing's going to hurt you and spend time in there and find your peace and know that this is going to be okay and that whatever happens, you are so, you have this team that's always trying to take care of you and bring you both physically and spiritually, um, both physically and spiritually trying to bring you to this place of understanding that, sorry, to this place of understanding that you are not alone and you are never alone and you have this aura of protection all around you and to continue to ask for that to say and trust please protect my protect me protect my family protect those that I love protect this earth protect continue to ask and know that when you ask you always receive I don't even know where this is going today they're just like there's a lot let me let me phase out here for a second So we're in that playground. Always send love and light, perfect. You always send, when you go into those, thank you for that, Wendy. You're, you're being my teammate here today. When you go to those, when you have those, that we're having a lot of those moments of people stepping aside right now. I don't know if you've noticed that. I'm having a lot of them too. And it can, it, when I get into my small self, my egoic self, it really hurts me. Um, so when I decide that I finally call on help, <laughs> like, could you please help me through this anxiety because I'm really hurting because of this. It's as if, um, that help comes in. I'm like, please sever and, and, um, cut away any of these cords or attachments that no longer serve me. And as I do that, I feel my energy like that hot air balloon we've been talking about. It's as if I'm a hot air balloon with all these tethers and it, and those my team just comes in and starts cutting. They're like, okay. But as we're doing that, as Wendy said, it's okay. Please ask for love and light to go to that person. They won't know where that love bomb's coming from. But we still love them. There's no guilt here. We're not, we're not um, cutting them off because uh, we have any hard feelings or because we're judging them. We're cutting them off because they're holding us back, because they're not ready to go where we need to go. Make sense? And so we're also, as we pray for them, as we, we still love them, we still send them that love and light, and we still hope that they're able to catch up to us, and they will. They'll catch up to us one of these days. We talked about a lot of this yesterday, and it just feels like this is so heavy on me lately because we have different audiences, and it feels as if this is something that's got to be drummed home. So in the process, the plus side of this is, yes, we're going to, we're going to have a lot of our loved ones that are not going to understand the path that we're taking, and they're going to fall away from us. They might even say nasty things. I've had that. Um, work to stay in that higher vibration. Work to, to uh, help yourself to understand, help your ego to understand that inner child, that part of you that gets hurt by these things, to understand that um, they just don't get it yet. It's almost like being on the playground with a bully. You know, we can't judge them or you know, we just have to know that um, whatever they're going through, we don't know. 
somebody has turned them into that bully. They didn't. They weren't born that way. And so whatever they're going through, we we can still send them love and light, and we don't have to allow ourselves to continue to be treated that way. Does that make sense? And we can, you know, be nice to that person, but we're not going to let them continue to mistreat us. Because right now, your energy, your energy, your purpose for being on this planet is to hold a high vibration. I hope you know that the most important thing that you can do right now on this planet is to hold a high vibration. And so if you let these people pull you down into their vibration, we're losing you. We need you. We all need you as a team. Our team needs us all to stay in a high vibration. And when I see something and I'm like, oh, no, I love you. Come back, come back. Bring that vibration up. we got to love each other through this, okay? This is a very difficult time. We're losing people physically. We're losing people emotionally. But at the end of all this, we're all going to be in the same place. It's all We're all going to come to the same place eventually. So you're not ever going to lose anybody forever. This is temporary and important, and this is why you're here. I'm not playing much today, am I? feels important for us to get these lessons, to be wrapped up in love. Today, I want you to visualize right now. I want you to visualize yourself coming out of that sandbox, and your grown-up self is sitting at the picnic table and I want you to go and I want you to climb in the lap of your grown-up self for a few minutes and I want you to let your grown-up self brush that sand away and maybe get you a little drink of something that you really like maybe give you a cookie and I want your grown-up self all you grown-up selves I want you to pull that child gently into your lap and I want you to hold that child for a few minutes just hold them I'm sending out big energy hugs to everyone that's in here right now <clears throat> excuse me big ol' energy hugs please share out please use your own energy right now for anyone that is watching this now or watches it later share out that love we're going to allow ourselves to be wrapped up we're so loved and protected the angels, the guides source energy, God, Jesus whoever you call on that love is they are so proud of you tell that to that little child I am so proud of you you are doing such a beautiful job. That castle that you're building is the most magnificent thing I have ever seen. It is the most beautiful creation. Don't stop. Keep building. Keep building that castle. Keep keep going. Don't get discouraged. Don't look around and think somebody else is doing it better than you. Don't give up. Keep going. Keep going. Because <clears throat> what you're building is something more incredible than you can even imagine but you just have to keep taking it one day at a time, one step at a time, one moment at a time. Don't stop building. And when you start to feel sad or you start to get affected by those negative energies around you, remember to go climb up in the lap of your adult self for a little bit. Find that comfort. Find that love and know that it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. We're going to rock you a little bit. You are so loved. You are so supported. Your, your angelic team, they are right there. That's that's you right there holding on to yourself, cuddling yourself, knowing <clears throat> that if, if you can just hang on just a little bit longer, this is all going to pass. It's all going to pass. It's all going to be okay. Just hold on a little bit longer and keep sharing out the love and keep sharing out the light. <clears throat> I have a lot of energy in my throat, if you noticed. I'm still I'm doing a lot of clearing. And that's usually happening because there's a lot of there's some clearing going on in the group in that I just heard the cat. Shh. She was taking a nap. She's feeling the energy. So I would like you to go ahead right now and breathe that energy. Yesterday we, we were breathing it right in. I want you to visualize it right here at the top of your head. And I want you to just pull that energy. Watch it pull on down. you got to watch the time today too. Watch it pull on down from your head. We're good. Um... I can feel it moving on down the forehead. We're kind of getting a bath in it today. You're a dirty little girl or boy. You've been playing in that sand, and it's like they're like, okay, let's just bathe you in this today. That's what it feels like. So it's just like washing. So allow that washing to go through your system. As we're sitting here, every one of your chakras, it's hitting your different chakras, and it's clearing your system. It's clearing your body of disease. There's healing going to every cell. 
Breathe deeply, get that healing into your lungs, let it go right through your throat again. If you feel like you need to yawn, yawn really big, expand that space. All of this healing is a part of, even visualize it in your mouth, okay? That just kind of came up. Visualize healing in your mouth right at this time. I don't know who needs that, it may be all of us. Visualize it as ah, like a, a healing mouthwash. Just swish it around in there for a minute. And you can swallow it on down. It's going to go on down your throat. And it's going to follow on down and into your belly. And it's going to bring healing into your system. Healing and energy that will protect you from all this stuff. All this stuff that's going around will heal anything that's already there. So I want you to visualize that energy going right on down your system. Like a big warm bath taking away anything, any impurities, any worries, any concerns, any lower vibrational energy as washing away along with your germs. I don't know how many of you feel it, but I do feel as if disease comes out of dis-ease, dis-ease. We, we carry these things inside of us that are that are holding us down, old memories, um, false beliefs, things like that. They hold us back, and we can hold them for so long that they create blocked energy. And wherever that blocked energy is, that's where the diseases tend to pop up. So our job is to daily, as often as necessary, continue to clear, continue to allow healing energy to flow on through, to whenever anything comes up, triggers um, these sad things that come up to you, and these pains, whatever, what is it? Don't try to bury it again. Let it come up. Hold on to it. Love it. I love you and I release you. I love you and I release you. You have to acknowledge those things and then you have to be willing to let them go. So as we're sitting here in this healing energy, please let go of anything that no longer serves you. Be willing to let that be recycled into something that will work with you, something that will bring about opportunities will show you what your passions are in life will guide you will be like a treasure map to those things that that those areas that you want to go I'm getting so excited there's an excitement in that and it feels the energy is incredible as if we're being boosted up as if they're they're saying yeah let me show you what it is I'm, I'm picturing myself holding that little girl and she's been working so hard at this little castle but she's a little bit stuck there's a part of it that she can't quite figure out. And so my grown-up self is going to go sit in the dirt with her for a little bit. So if you can visualize yourself with that, go sit in that dirt with that little child. Help her. She's stuck. She's got some areas that are, that are not quite moving right for her, and she needs you to show her how to do this. So comfort that little child and show her right now. Show her how to let go of those things so she's not holding on. She's just holding on too tight. If you can show her how to hold her hands differently, if you can show her how to release some of that and not hold on so tight, she'll get it. Can you do that for yourself? And the healing energy is continuing to flow. It's down through the heart and into the solar plexus. And it's washing you clean as we're sitting here. There's been a lot of clearing in this group in the solar plexus area. It flows through there so much easier now than it used to. Th straight through the heart, down through the solar plexus, into the second. Breathe. Let the energy flow. Goes out right on down through your root, and it's running right down your legs right now. And into your knees, down your lower legs, into your feet. And we're going to picture ourselves again. I want you to put your feet on the floor and be perfectly planted. All of those things that you're ready to let go of, whether you know or not, anything that no longer serves you, if you will just let it go out the base of your feet, and you have those beautiful new roots that we've been talking about. It's as if we're getting an upgrade, and those roots take all of that negative energy very quickly, like a golden highway down into the crystalline core of the earth to the soul of the earth. And the soul of the earth is returning its energy back up through, back up through the earth. And it's very fast. It's coming back up your legs. I feel it moving up into my knees and back up my legs and back up my, my uh, root and, and on up every one of the
the chakras. And as it's doing it, it's just blowing off anything that no longer serves you. It's going to, it's just clearing you. And it's, and each one is spinning two different directions, spinning, 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 like, like fans that go two different ways so that they're really, really thorough about getting rid of any blocks. And they're like the rainbow, all the lights of the rainbow again. And they're like, bing, 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 bing. And then we're going to let that. Can you open up your hands right now like this? We're going to take all that energy that's going right up through us right now with these big old healing hands that we've got. And we're going to just visualize all of that light shooting out of our hands and it's going across the planet to wherever it's needed. You can visualize one person, two people. You can visualize your whole family. You can visualize all of humanity. You can visualize the earth, the animals, the trees, any part of that. There is so much energy tingling in my hands right now. It's wild. Let's hold that for just a minute. Let's just visualize this energy going around the earth. And it's coming right through your fingers, right through the palms of your hands. We're creating a healing energy that's helping people to wake up, most importantly. Because as much as we want them to heal physically, it's more important that people wake up to who they really are. That's the most important thing that can happen right now, is that this virus is waking people up to the truth of who they are. And I'm still tingling, so I'm still holding. Be like Isis. <laughs> Did you ever see that? Or those different ca cartoon characters where energy comes flying out of their hands and goes to where ever wants to go. You can picture whoever. I'm trying to catch up because my... Keep on, keep on, keep on. I can feel it in my arms, my hands. There's like electricity. Do you know what it feels like when you get static? It's like shooting out through my fingers. If you need to, let's do the ball again. Let's play ball for a minute, okay? Rub your hands together. We've got so much energy going. It's like electricity between the hands. So you rub those together, and then you start to pull them away. See if you can feel that energy. It's like palpable today. And so take that energy and create yourself a... Let's do a balloon instead of a ball, because I want you to blow your energy into it today. I want you to expand those lungs really, really, really big as big as you can get them and then you're going to blow all that energy into that balloon and make it as big as you can so one two three blow <sighs> one more time expand your lungs and blow <sighs> and we've made it really big and I want you to visualize yourself tying a little string on it right now and you're holding onto that string and it's flying up above you and it's filled with your healing energy. All that energy that's being channeled, channeled through you right now is gone into that balloon. And go ahead and just hold it up and let it go. And let it go to wherever it needs to go. My fingers are so tingly. This is, we're sure getting some energy today. So touch people in your family, in your home. If you've got anybody there, touch yourself. Give yourself that healing touch wherever you need to. I often, when I'm meditating, I'll feel like I have to touch right here. And it's because there's healing going on in my third eye. And I'm helping myself. You can help yourself to heal, too. Enjoy that healing touch today. If we send, we only get you right, Wendy. If we send out negative, we get negative back. Exactly. We're like mirrors, aren't we? Whew. Sue, I'm glad you managed to catch up to us. Hmm. That's a cute little sticker, Carrie. I'm glad you're here, Sue. Let's see. Wendy, my energy stuck at the temple on the side of my head. That happens for me sometimes, too. So just, you know, if, if you need right now, it's probably a good time to just put your hand down wherever, it's, wherever you're feeling any pressure. There's a reason why that energy is going there. There's some kind of block. There's blocked energy. So when you start to feel that, just kind of acknowledge it. Kind of touch it let the healing come in all right you guys if you got anything else i want you to visualize yourself for just a minute before we do anything else i want you to visualize yourself safely within your heart space your holy spirit i yourself is right back here good i'm glad that it moved wendy your holy spirit higher self is right back in your heart space it is protected and safe 
The, the angels are wrapping themselves around you as we speak. And I want you to, t to repeat this phrase with me three times. As I will, so let it be done. We're going to do it three more times. Join me. As I will, so let it be done. As I will, so let it be done. As I will, so let it be done. And then just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want you to have a beautiful day. Do whatever you can to keep your vibration up. I'm glad that you put your hands on it, Wendy. That's perfect. Perfect way to handle it. If I've missed anybody along the way, I'm glad that you joined me today. I popped on pretty fast. I'm sorry for the short notice. If you'll please share this out. I'm not very good about it. There's a lot of healing energy flowing in these videos every day. Um, and the job here is cooperation. We're cooperating with each other to get the message out so that more and more people can find us so that they can um, so that they can wake up too because that's what we ultimately need is for everyone on the planet to realize who they really are. Thank you, Wendy. I will have a beautiful day. I'll make sure of it. And if I have any issues, any lower vibrational energy that hits me, any, any little thunderstorms that come hang over my head, I'm going to get get in touch with my friends. I'm going to let them know that I need some help. It's shared. Very good, Wendy. Thank you. Good. I'm glad you thought that was beautiful, Sue. Start going back on these. There's It doesn't matter when you watch them. Whenever you watch them, that healing energy is going to touch you. The universe, source energy, God, there's no limit to that. I will see you at the river, Wendy. Very good. I will see you at the river. Please take good care of yourselves today. If you guys need a call or anything, you let me know. Take good care. I love you, Sue. You take good care. I'll, I love all you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. I'll be back tomorrow. <laughs> Thank you for the hearts and the thumbs up. I appreciate it greatly. You guys are incredible. Thank you for being you. Take good care.